Hi friends, welcome to another video on Tutorials Point with me Richa. Today under the retail segment, we will talk about retail supply chain. Well, let's see what is there on the agenda with us. Well, we will understand the meaning of supply as well as retail supply chain. Identify the elements of a typical supply chain. Understand the features and benefits of a supply chain. The factors which influence the supply chain management. Well, this is all in the agenda today. Let's get started. Well, what exactly is the meaning of supply? A supply is the quantity of something, it could be product or services, which are available in the market. Now, there is a lot of requirement by different retailers as well as customers for different products and services. And hence, the reason of supply should be in maximum so that you don't run out of inventory. So there are raw materials, there are suppliers, manufacturers, distributors, customers and then the consumer which is the larger market and hence supplying of product is one of the most niche things in the market today. Well friends let's look at what retail supply chain is. Well the method by which the goods reach the customer who is the final end user of the product. The entire set of organization, people that produces as well as delivers the product and services to the final end user. Making goods and services available to the customer in response to their needs and it has to be done in a very convenient and efficient manner so that the customer does not face any hardships. Well friends, a typical supply chain or a typical retail supply chain looks something like this wherein the customer originates the demand for that particular various kind of products. There is a supplier or manufacturer of the product which then goes to the distributor after the distributor, it goes to the retailer and from there, it goes to the final end user who is the customer. Now, we're going to look at each of this process in detail now. The first is uh, understanding the components of retail supply chain. The manufacturer is the person or the company which really produces or manufactures the product. They also have a lot of factories, etc. where the products are manufactured. It then goes from a manufacturer to a distributor. The distributor stores the products in large quantities in order to serve the needs of the retailers in that particular region. A particular product may have different distributors all over the region in different geographical corners of the country. So the distributor is where who takes the products from the manufacturer in a large quantity. From the distributor, it goes to the retailer. The retailer is the final point of stocking and delivering the products to the consumer or the customer. He takes care of the shopping environment. Now, this is where most of the retail stores or outlets fall under the retailership. It then goes from there to the customer who ultimately buys the product from the retailer and is the end user of that particular product or service. Let's understand the features of a supply chain. Well, there are many components and all of them are very, very important. There are many products, but only one supply chain, which really makes the entire link of product, people and processes to reach the consumer. There are cross-functional and there has to be a lot of coordination between these uh, supply chain managers. So be it in terms of people, technologies, processes, etc. It all has to understand that supply chain management is a continuous process and even one small weak link in the middle can really be disastrous to the customer not getting the product on time. Let's understand that certain factors which really influence the retail supply chain management well, the transportation and logistics is the most important factor of a retail supply chain because it is over here that the product is really getting picked up and being transferred to where it has to go. So there is a pickup from the wharf which then goes on to unloading the containers of the different kind of products. Then there is an inventory which happens in a computerized manner at the back end of the store. So all the inventory which has been uploaded or downloaded needs to be uploaded on the inventory of that particular system. Then the products are stored in the warehouse or in the factories which then happen according to them order processing happens and whatever orders they get it has to get from here. Then there is a pick and pack of that particular product. 
distribution which happens and ultimately the delivery to a particular retail store or outlet. So friends, transportation and logistic being the number one factor which really is very important in supply chain. Coming to the second most important factor, well technology is going all out in terms of the internet being used to really boom the supply chain management. With the internet coming in, a lot of technological issues have been solved and people are always connected with technology, be it social media or be it in terms of any kind of, you know, internet connections. The third factor which really influences retail supply chain is the different modes of communication. Well, manufacturers or retailers or even customers are constantly in touch through SMSs, phone, or video chats, Skype, etc., or even newspapers, billing, invoicing, etc. All of these really help you to stay in touch and keep connected with either the manufacturer or retailer or distributor and even the customer. Well, uh, the store staff who is basically the last and the vital link to supply chain because it is over here that the entire process has got over and the staff is there in front of a customer selling the product which has come from retail supply chain. So the store staff is the last and the vital link to the supply chain management. They arrange the product which they have received and accordingly also the desire in the mind of the customer Keeping that in mind, they have to make sure that the products look very neat and tidy and the way they are stored will attract the customers to buy the product. Well, certain more things about the store staff, they replenish and replace the product. As and when the stock gets over, it is the responsibility and the duty of a store staff to replenish whatever is over. They guide the customers through the store because a customer at times may not know what product or what service is placed where exactly in the store. So it is the staff's duty and responsibility to guide the customer throughout the store. Well, certain benefits of efficient supply chain, let's take a look at them. Net sales can be improved by providing attractive assortments to customers and being always available and business and sales are closely linked together. The more you uh, make sales, the more business or profits come your way. Net profit margin can be increased by increasing the gross margin. This is done by obtaining large quantities of merchandise at a lower price and selling them also in a cheap. And that is where a lot of distributors make note of this. They get lots of quantities of a particular product and they sell it in a very cheap manner, which helps them to really gain a lot of profit. Certain other benefits are low operating cost by planning and coordinating deliveries, thus reducing the shipment charges. And that's something that has to be planned and researched so that you do not spend unnecessary uh, you know, amount of money in shipping. Efficient distribution centers, which reduces the expenses. Carry less inventory without stock out saves a lot of funds and working capital. This increases the assets as well as the inventory turnover and hence it leads to a lot of profit margins. Well friends, that brings us to the end of this particular module of retail supply chain. We have looked at different aspects of retail supply chain, right from the meaning to the benefit to the factors influencing retail supply chain. I do hope you have enjoyed listening to this particular module. Keep watching and thank you so much.